Welcome back to Tales of Vesperia, and I would have started this episode inside town, but Clear Seal Crystal just showed up on my screen. Can a Clear Seal Crystal really be used to make a barrier? If they could, and we had enough, we'd be able to make as many barriers as we wanted. Then even areas that suffer frequent monster attacks could be assured safety. Yeah, but if it were possible, wouldn't something like that have happened by now? Maybe it's best not to get our hopes up about it then. Ever the realist, I see. All I'm doing is speculating on the most probable outcome. Actually, I think that's what being a realist means. <laughs> Desert Oasis Mantic. Whew, we're finally here. I've seen enough sand to last me a lifetime. You're telling me. Look, there are people outside the town. Wonder if that means the curfew's been lifted. more easy now haste makes waste hurry hurry all aboard let's all enjoy a nice little tour of the desert shall we but while we're gone the children i promise riches to anyone who can bring me the remains of that giant winged monster then your children will be able to live in the lap of luxury please don't make us go Stop your whining. I told you vermin to get aboard. Now get moving this instant. That's just how we were sent into the desert. The giant winged monster must be Pharaoh! Yeah, but what's he want to capture Pharaoh so bad for? Well, what are we gonna do? We can't just stand by and watch, can we? I'll... I'm afraid that idiot isn't gonna listen to anything a princess would say. Then what should we do? Carol, come here a sec. What? Yeah, I could do that. But I'd need tools. Wait, you mean... Yes, perhaps this will help. <laughs> oh, she must be a klepto. How convenient. You guys better bail me out if this goes bad. So you did pick that up. Well, it was just lying there. I thought it might be useful. Whatever. Now about all we can do is leave it up to the kid. What is it with these commoners? They're slower than slugs. Get aboard, damn you! Sir Kimor, everyone is aboard! Everyone except yourself. What? Me? Those who do their job slowly will never learn without punishment. Sir Kimor, please, I beg of you. I have a wife and daughter. If you'd like to stay here, I'm sure I could arrange for them to go in your place. Now be gone with you. Carol, don't worry. That young man is very capable. Responsible for this. I've got to hand it to the little runt. You did it. <sighs> My heart was pounding like a drum. This won't do anything more than buy us some time, though. I think it's about all we can do at the moment. Yeah, Cat and Carol will start crying if we try to tackle the knights head on. How about we make ourselves scarce before people start getting too curious? I suppose we'll be on our way then. Yeah, I'm sure your kids will be so happy to see you. But there won't always be someone around to save you. Thank you again for all your help. Guess we should lay low at the inn for a while. The knights in this town. Using your power to terrorize people. There's not a soul in the lower quarter that evil. You've gone too far this time, Qmor. Uh, first off, you want to head up here, and over here. Hey, kid. How's it going? Oh, it's you! Yay! Thank you for saving our mommy and daddy. 
Aw, oh, shucks, kids. Tweren't nothing. What are you getting all bashful for, old man? After all, we've even got a reward for helping them. Oh, what's the matter? Hey, it's you. Thanks so much for your help back there. Thanks to you, our children have someone to take care of them again. No, really, we hardly did anything. No, no, it's thanks to all of you, uh, all of the precious water you shared with us that we're here today. I doubt this is really enough to thank you all for what you've done, but... Obtained hourglass. Thank you. It's the least we could do. Thank you. Here you go. Huh? This is important to you, right? You can have it back. But don't worry, your mom and dad already gave us something to thank us for, for helping them. We couldn't take your reward, too. That would be greedy. Uh, okay! See you later, okay? Hand it over, glass marble. Yay, glass marble! Okay, and next up, we want to go to the inn and stay the night. Because that's exactly what you want to do when you're trying to stay low. You just go to the most obvious place where you might be caught and go to sleep there. Oh, you've returned safe from... W welcome back. Looks like they've still got guards watching him. You must be tired. Please, enjoy your stay. That Kumor punk is a really lousy guy. I wonder why they're trying to capture Pharaoh. I don't know, but... At this rate, they're going to send all the adults into, in the town in, out to the, into the desert. And once the adults are gone, it's, it might be the children's turn next. No, that can't happen! If I just spoke to him as a representative of the Imperial family... Are you forgetting what happened in Heliord? Yeah, Stell, he didn't care that you were a princess at all. Dot, dot, dot. So, should we help out the townspeople, or should we help ourselves? Rita... Don't you know what? Uh, don't you want to know what the Antilochia thing is? If so, you should put this whole business with Kumor out of your mind for the time being. It's a strange feeling to be agreeing with you, but I think we should focus on meeting Bellius for now. Even if we captured Kumor, we wouldn't have the authority to try him for his crimes. If we can't do anything about him, we should focus on what we actually can do. If only Flynn were here. Flynn, but where is he? I wish I knew. I'm sorry, Estelle, we don't mean to be ganging up on you. It disgusts me, too, to imagine a that jerk snoring all nice and cozy in his bed right now, but... Rita, I understand. Lock up a guy like that, and he, as soon as he's released, he'll just end up doing the same thing again. Yep, you know what they say. The only cure for stupidity is death. The only cure for stupidity is death.